the most primitive known plesiosaur, Plesiopterus, possessed fewer than 40 vertebrae in its neck, as did some specimens of plesiosaurs. Three plesiosaurs are known to have had more than 60 cervical vertebrae in their necks, and one, Elasmosaurus, is known to have had more than 70. While the smallest plesiosaurs measured 2 meters in length, uh, many measured under 10 meters, and some reached lengths of over 10 meters, such as Thalassomedon 12 meters, Hydrotherosaurus 13 meters, Elasmosaurus 14 meters, and Mauusaurus perhaps up to 20 meters. As these marine reptiles evolved, their front limbs and hind limbs became more like flippers. One can see a gradual change from primitive sauropterygians to advanced sauropterygians to primitive plesiosaurs to advanced plesiosaurs, where the number of carpal bones of the wrist and the number of bones in the digits are duplicated and increased to form flippers. Plesiosaurs and pliosaurs are related. Short-necked, large-headed lineages seems to have evolved twice in this group. The earliest known pliosaur is known from the late Triassic and early Jurassic. It measured less than two meters and possessed a long neck and short head. Other pliosaurs from the early Jurassic also possessed long necks and short heads. Some, such as Liopleurodon and Chronosaurus, measured at least 10 meters with much larger heads, and some estimates measure, estimate their length at 15 meters. One group of plesiosaurs, uh, the polycotylids, evolved a body plan like that of the pliosaurs independently of them. While some had longer necks with 30 cervical vertebrae, others had fewer, 26 or even 19.